Let me get Nita. Hold up. Now, where'd she go? There she is. Hi, <laughs> Hello. Hey, you guys. Don't don't pay attention to my shirt. I don't like shirts like this color because I feel like they wash me out. But I put it on this morning and I thought, do I want to change my shirt? And I thought, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Nita? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm okay. I had like... Like I said in my uh, text message to everybody, I kind of had a day out of the twilight zone. And I think a <laughs> few of us are having days out of the twilight zone from everybody that I've been talking to. So, you know, I'm in a good crowd. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's it's this, been a day. This Friday is Friday the 13th, so, you know, hey. Yeah, you were telling just... I I think that that might be part of it. I, I It has to be. Right? Yeah, like it's something. Not. Something has got people acting so strangely, and um, I mean, it's like everywhere. Yeah, it it must be. I'm gonna just chalk it up to uh, the date, and we're just gonna leave it at that because, yeah, it it was just a crazy day, very crazy day for me. I could tell you. Um. So anyway, thanks you guys for showing up. <laughs> <laughs> makes me happy whenever I see you all here and um, I'm gonna kind of go through a few names just for a bit and then I actually have stuff ready to sew um, I'm planning on working on these pieces which is part of a leaf and there there's the one that's what it'll look like when it's all done so that's what I have to work on I think I have like one piece of fabric that I didn't cut, but I'm never gonna make it to that part anyway, so it's okay. Um, okay, so we have Gina in Azel. I hope I'm saying that right. Hi, Gina. Mary Jane is here. D is here. Judy L. Miss Angela Stutinger is here. Uh, Colleen is here. We have Shelly Clark. We have Sandra K. Yes, she's already got her thumbs up. Thumbs up, everybody. Um, we have Donna Bogart, Ruth Eichen, Sandra K. Miss Laura Veach is here. Designs Hi, by Laura. Christina Cunningham. Christina Cunningham is here from Admire, Kansas. Miss <laughs> um, Linda Parsons is here. Paula. Okay, hold on, hold on. I have to kind of concentrate. Paula Hooping Gamer. I hope I said that right. Hooping Ganger. Hooping, hooping Garner. Hooping Garner. Oh, it's not an M. It's an R N. Okay. It. Listen, my yeah. eyeballs are not what they used to be. Uh, hooping, <laughs> hooping Garner. Garner. Sorry about that. Right. Linda Foos is here. Miss Pam Reynolds. Vicky's Sewing Adventures down in in Aussie Land. We have Miss Jackie Spear is here, Sherlock Sews, Ingrid Bowers. Hi, Ingrid. MJ is here. Um, Shirley is here, Miss Around to It. 
<laughs> and oops, I just I just made it pop up. Hold up. Karen Cox, Laurie Periscandolo. Oh, I'm so glad I saw your name because I totally forgot that you won that thing on Monday. I gotta better write that down somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> Netta's here. Netta, remind me. Because <laughs> I had Netta already is. forgot. Laurie's going, what? <laughs> <laughs> um miss scrunchins is here miss seely we've got uh gidget mcconnell we have zella mckenzie mary kubi kubicek karen Zach. neville nancy gus polly is here miss stephanie is here hi steph uh, and nelly franco who I Miss there, is somebody? Nelly, Miss Nelly Franco is here. Oh, I missed Nelly. Her. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I did. I missed you. I just went up there. Oh, PT Lanes is here. Lavina Hiscock. Thank you. I went up to check. Did I say Nancy Gus? Nancy Gus. Did is here. You say Nancy Gus? Um. Okay. Going back down. I got Miss Pamela Ollie. Hannah. Hannah Montana is here. What'd you say? Oh, Tamala. Tamala Hannah. I got it. Tamala <laughs> Hannah. <laughs> How did we get to Hannah Montana? I was like, what? <laughs> Pam Claire is here. And, okay, I think I got everybody. Okay, so I'm sure there's going to be so more, more people come in. If I missed you, please just say your name again. and uh, Or just type something down there, and then I'll see you. Um, so, anyway... I hope that you guys all had a great day. You know, some days you just, you know, you just never know. You know, you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> but I have to say it was actually a really nice day weather-wise here. Uh I found it to be a little warm, but not bad. I my car said that it was 79 degrees. I find that that's a little too hot for myself. <laughs> I just, in my little car took a little bit of time to get the AC going and all of that, but still a great day. Um, oh, Joy is here. Julie Smith is here. I saw those couple people come in. Hey, Joy. Okay, so Go ahead, Angela, Angela says, Yvette, my name is pronounced stout, like beer, oh, injure. Stout it's injured. okay. My <laughs> It's my ex-married name. Okay, it's Stoutinger. Not Stoutinger, it's Stoutinger. Right. I, I promise I'm going to try really hard to remember that. Stoutinger. I just have to think beer. beer. I see Angela, I beer. think beer. beer. <laughs> it's worse things to think, you know. Kay is here. Purple Wall. Hi, Kay. Purple Wall. Kay is here. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, Netta. We got Netta. Of course, oh, Netta's we here. Say Netta was here. Netta, don't forget to remind me that um, I need to send Lori Periscandolo a present because I had already forgotten. But thankfully, I saw her name and I was like, oh, so just just remind me because I'll forget. Uh, Jim Christina, is here. Christina and Lori said that it's really hot. The heat index has been over 100 degrees. Where are you guys? Lori says it's Pretty like warm. 96 degrees. That's pretty warm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's hot. That's that's H O T. <laughs> that's capital, capital H, H, capital H, O, capital, capital T. Capital T. <laughs> <laughs> that's hot. Hot. A lot. hot. <laughs> really hot. Hi, Jim. Oh my goodness. Y'all, I have like this, I'm not even going to tell y'all. Y'all think I'm a crazy person. I really am a crazy person, but you probably shouldn't know that. Um, I, I do some pretty nutball things. Uh, okay, so. Oh, look, Pam said it was 100 degree heat index where she is, too. Ugh. MJ, it's 90 degrees. Fort Worth, Texas. It's not a oh dry heat. <laughs> it's dry heat's not Texas much better, I have to tell you. It's really not. I've lived in the dry heat. Heat. heat is heat. I would rather have I would rather have moisture because the moisture means that I actually get to sweat a little more. Yes, in yeah. the dry heat, I don't sweat at all. I don't like to sweat. I just need to go to Alaska or something. I, that's what I need to do. 
Uh-oh. Yep. Uh-oh. No, no. Okay, you go to Alaska. I'll stay in the warmer uh, uh, states. You go somewhere else and we'll just Zoom or something. I, I don't know. That'll work. I'll yeah. come visit you once a year in the summertime. In the summertime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because at least in Alaska in the summertime, it's, you know, 70s. Yeah. I can handle that. Exactly. Hi, hmm. Janet. Janet, where, remind me where you are. Are you in the UK or are you in Australia as well? I don't remember, but I do I do remember that you're not in the US. And of course that's why you're saying morning. <laughs> so that's a little hint. It kind she kinda of like threw me a um, you know, she she gave me a, a help up. Um She threw you a bone. Yeah, there you go. She threw me a bone. <laughs> she threw you a bone. <laughs> I like having bones thrown because I need them. Sometimes. Western Australia. Ah, okay. Western Australia. Ah, another Jean. Hi, Regine. Oh, my goodness. And it says Regine, not iPad number three. Right? <laughs> I'm never going to forget that. I am not going to forget that. That was so funny. I just can't. <laughs> and it didn't seem like whatever we did, it just didn't work. She was still. I know. It was so funny. I mean, it was funny, iPad. but I'm sure she was frustrated. I know she was probably frustrated, but. <laughs> I would have been. Okay, fine. Hello, Polly. How are you feeling? Hi, Deanna. Yeah, sometimes you just have to laugh, though. You know, I mean, what else are you going to do? It's better than the alternative. <laughs> and all right, so I'm going to start sewing. Nita, do you? Oh, Nita left or I lost her something. Um, I'm going to put my little camera on over on the side. Okay. She may come back. Hold on. I don't know. <laughs> we'll wait and see if she's going to call. Okay. So anyway, I am, I kind of move my coffee a little bit. Where can I put it? I'll put it over there. Um, so I'm going to be working on these pieces. I have seven of them that I have to do. There she is. Okay. Here we go. Um, I think I have to put her over there first. All right, hold on. No, no, you don't have to put me up there. No, I'm not. I'm fine. It, though. I have to fix it. Oh, okay. Okay. I And I think I do, I don't know, y'all, y'all gonna, oh, nope, wrong one. This one? There we go. Okay, now this, need, how do I put that in the top? There you go. What does that say? What's that? I have no idea what I just did. Uh, maybe do this. Ah, come on, PIP. I want PIP for goodness sakes. What does this say? That doesn't say. You are currently, you are currently on the right view for. Yeah, I'm trying to make it a picture in picture. And of course I do it once in a blue moon. So I don't remember how to do it. Oh wait, what's this? Nope, that's not it. Uh, let's see. Polly, Polly won the Cotton Cuts Wordle. Cotton Cuts has a Wordle? I had no idea. <laughs> Me either. But evidently Polly won. Excellent. Congrats, Polly. Uh, uh, why would you be in a car all day? That's. I hate when I have to spend so much time in the car. Oh, and Laura says she's Ooh, a summer got person. <laughs> you got no, it. I did. I have no idea. <laughs> like I have no idea what I did, but I did it. I don't know. Okay. I'm not even going to question it. I'm just going to be happy it happened. Okay. Here we go. And Carla Battle says you have the prettiest packaging ever. She received her <laughs> package, and it was hands down the prettiest packaging. Thanks for taking the extra effort. Oh, well, thank you for saying that. Thank you for mentioning it, because I do, um, it's important to me. Oh. You know? So, I'm glad you're happy. Janet Johnson says, I'm going to spend the day in my craft room. So, I told the family, do not disturb, or I may explode. <laughs> Well, at least you gave him fair warning. Ray Jean Stevens says, someone on Piecing It Real showed a pattern and you explained how it needed to be pieced. Could you explain that again? 
Oh, yeah. The thing is, is even if I knew who this lady was, I would not mention her name because I don't want to like, you know, my job is not to come on and badmouth people. But what hap what this lady does is she she like basically has a whole picture of like whatever it is that you're making. Like let's just say it's a gnome, okay? And she has all of the like lines in the picture, but basically all you get is the picture. You're not given each individual piece with the quarter inch around it or anything like that. So what you have to do is you have to make enough copies to be able to cut each piece out. And as you're cutting it out, you have to put the quarter inch in yourself. So you're cutting, that's why you have to make copies for all of them because the quarter inch is not already there. So if you're gonna cut a quarter inch, well, you're gonna be cutting into like the piece next to it. I don't know if I'm making any sense whatsoever. If I had one of her patterns right now, I would show you. Um, but basically, you're making like your own pattern because she doesn't give you the individual pieces. I don't know if that's making any sense. But so you're basically having to make all of your templates yourself. I could probably, um, I could probably show you some other time, Regine, if you still have questions about that. I think that was Denise who had bought the pattern. Linda Parsons says you do make sense. I was going to tell you that. Stephanie, did you see the, the question that Laura had for you? Speaking of Stephanie, um, I thought I would remind everyone that Stephanie and I, um, have a new retreat company together and it's called together we sew right now we are accepting um scholarship applications for next year's millersburg ohio retreat um you do need to put in an application or you can um like um put someone forward for an application. They do have to fill out everything uh, and then we will be making a decision on the 12th. So tomorrow is the deadline. If you're interested in putting in an application, go to togetherwesowretreats.com and in the top right, you'll see where it says documents and there'll be a scholarship application. So you just need to fill that in and then return it to Stephanie. Her email is stephanie, stephanies.stitches at yahoo.com. And we will have one lucky winner. Also, um, if you do win the scholarship, no one is gonna know that you won. So it's confidential. It's completely confidential. We don't share anything. Um, Stephanie and I are going to be the only people who see it. And when you're at the retreat, not a single soul is going to know that you are there on scholarship. Um, and you only need to be able to get yourself there. So we will pay for your accommodation and we will pay for your retreat fee. But you have to be able to get yourself there and you have to uh, provide your own meals. So as long as you can do those things, um, please put in an application if you would like to win the scholarship. And Stephanie has put the link up for Together We Sew retreats. So if you would like to do that, you can follow that link. 
Excellent. And Del Marie's here. She says, sorry, she's late. Hi, Del Marie. Janet Johnson wants to know, what are you making? I am still working on my coral reef pattern. <laughs> and of course, <laughs> I don't have even a picture of that thing anywhere. Um, hold on one second. I might be able to pull one up. I have my booklet right here. I just got to come get it. Okay. Well, at least it's all in one place. I mean, I... <laughs> so this is what I'm working on right now. It's all foundation paper pieced. And um, I am almost done putting all of the pieces together. And then I can start putting the whole quilt together. So um, I am... Today I am working on the part in the middle here that that part the flower or leaf or whatever you want to call it in right in the middle so that's what i'm working on and that pattern is a judy niemeyer pattern and it's called coral reef So, Yvette, you were saying you weren't fond, you didn't like wearing shirts the color that you're wearing? Right. Um, it's almost the same as your skin tone. I know, that's why I don't like to. The only reason I bought it, <laughs> to be honest, is it was, it was either in a stitch fix or something like that, and... It made more sense to buy the whole thing because then I got a big discount. Get a bigger and, like, discount. Get the shirt for free, so I just kept it all. It's that kind of thing. And then this morning, I was trying to find something that went with these pants. <laughs> and believe it or not, I mean, I wear all bright colors. So I didn't even have like a navy shirt or nothing. So I ended up just putting this one on. And going, oh well, <laughs> that's fine. I'm I don't know what I did with my piecing it real shirt. I had my piecing it real t shirt, my navy blue one. I was going to wear it, and I don't remember where I put it. I should have changed into like a piecing it real shirt. That should have, that's what I should have done. I can't. Sherry wear it, says, fortunately, you can't wear it to work. No, I can't wear t-shirts with like words on it. No, no branding, no graphic tees. Right. So Sherry says the more you work on this, the more she wants to make coral reef. You should. She says she wants to work on her macaw, but she have she has so many other projects consuming her time. Yeah. I understand. Hello, Karen. Hi, Karen. She says, hello, Yvette and Stephanie. Sorry, she's late. One of my cats was recently diagnosed with diabetes, so I've been busy learning how to give him his twice daily shots. Ah, okay. Yep. I was thinking about adopting um, a kitty who has diabetes because I figured he's going to be like hard to adopt out. Um, and they said that um, he only needs eye drops twice a day so i wonder if that's like a new thing or what i don't know i had never heard of that before well you know your eyes will absorb uh almost anything through your eyes you can absorb almost anything through your eyes it can be dangerous but yeah you can you can absorb medication through your eyes that don't ha doesn't have anything to do with your eyes right so I don't know. I'm still working on Jim. I'm trying to get him to let me adopt some more cats. <laughs> <laughs> His birthday was uh, yesterday. and Oh, you should tell him I said happy birthday. I will. I'll tell him. Um, he's, he, he's always going to be my hero. He picked my number, so I was happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh, gosh. I got to give kudos where kudos is deserved, you know? You, know? you do. So he, uh, I didn't even, 
Go ahead. I didn't even know I was going to, that there was a, that nobody even knew there was going to be a drawing and I, and he picked my number out of all the numbers. Yep. I made him come and pull the number and he pulled yours. It was pretty It was fun. great. Yeah. Worked out for you. <laughs> it did. <laughs> so anyway, Sherry says feline diabetes is a bit of a learning curve. Yeah, I bet. So yesterday was his birthday and right. Okay. So yesterday was his birthday. So on Monday, um, I went to CVS because I was getting my second booster shot. And when you're there and you get it, they ask you to stay in the store for like for 15, 15 minutes, minutes or whatever. Yeah. So you don't like pass out, you know, driving your car or whatever. So I thought, okay, well, I'll just shop for, his birthday card here and so I'm going I'm like looking at all the cards and y'all I'm not kidding I mean we are talking scraping the bottom of the barrel in cards there was like nothing it was bad and I was thinking I'm gonna end up having to get him a card that says congratulations you're an eight-year-old princess I mean seriously there was like nothing <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. So <laughs> I would love to see the look on his face when he gets that card. I know. So finally, I found a card that was not a birthday card, but it because it like had something on the inside about thinking about you, you know, or something like that, and it had a whole bunch of cats on the front. So I decided, okay, I'm gonna get this card. And I signed it on the inside. And I told him the whole story, like, on the inside. I was like, dude, you have no idea. I was, like, scraping the bottom of the barrel trying to find a card for you. <laughs> Instead of, you're a nine-year-old princess, I decided just to get you this one. And so I put, I signed it. And then I signed all the kitties' paws. And I put their names. And then I put, like, right down the middle of, like, the spine of the card. I was like... If you count the cats on the front of the card, there are 10, which means we have room for another five or six cats. <laughs> and how did that go? I just over? left it at that. And of course, he's every time I'm doing something, he just ignores me. He ignores me. I was like, so did you look at the card? Yes. Did you read the card? Yes. Did you read everything in the card? <laughs> And he's like, we're not getting any more cats. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> like, well, like what, I know where you're going. What happens if I just show up home with a cat? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. I'm still working on it. You know, like if I, if I put, you know, like way a whole lot of effort into like the cat with diabetes, because I can just say, Nobody's going to adopt the poor cat, and she needs somebody to help her, and all we have to do is, like, give her eye drops twice a day. I might be able to, I might be able to get him to, to just, because he is, he is a softie at heart, I'll tell you that. Because, like, Spooky Scout, what ha we got Spooky Scout because a friend of ours had, like, adopted him. For her elderly mother, who said that she wanted a cat, said she wanted a kitten, right? And I'm like, okay, first of all, this woman should have gotten a lap cat, okay? And she got Spooky Scout. Yo. Spooky Scout is not a lap cat. <laughs> Spooky Scout is the furthest thing from a lap cat I have known in my entire life. Like, he's the only cat I've ever had that's a gravity tester. He is like, he is a complete nubball, okay? And to this day, he is like, you know, two years old now. And I'm telling you, this, this woman should never have had this cat. Because he is like, oh my goodness, I love him so much. He is so rambunctious. He's got, he's just full of energy and all this. He's a great cat, but not for... A, you know, an 80-year-old lady. 
The poor no. thing. She was like, I don't know what to do with them. I'm like, you should have got a lap cat. Why would you get a kitten? I don't understand. <laughs> so Karen think, Sharp says she can help you adopt more cats. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, she says since she lost her job last year, she's been working at North Shore Animal League in Port Washington, New York. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's got the hookup for you if you really want more cats. Do you guys actually uh, adopt out of state, though? Because I know in Connecticut, they'll only allow, like, Connecticut residents to adopt. Although, when I got um, Jelly Bean and Smudgy and Sammy, they were in New York, but just over the border, right? So they allowed me to adopt them. But I know that some places don't let you. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> it's okay. I knocked my phone down, but it's all right. Okay. Laurie says she's given dogs uh, diabetes shots. My my sister had a dog with diabetes. I've given him. I I gave him his shots from time to time, but he passed away. It's actually not bad because you can lift up their skin and just put it, you know, right there. Yep. It's not difficult. Yeah. It's real easy. I mean, we used to give the puppies, we'd give the puppies their first shots. You can't, you can go to like any tractor supply or feed store or whatever and get the shots. You just can't get a rabies shot. You have to get that through a licensed vet. And Sherry says you totally should have gotten the eight-year-old princess birthday card. <laughs> I probably should have got both of them. I should have given him that one first and went, okay, here you go. <laughs> the, the one birthday card I think was the best birthday card ever was the one I got from my sister in England. It said, for my dear sister, I, a, a beauty tip for your birthday. To enlarge your breasts. <laughs> rub them with sheets of toilet paper and then you open the card and it says don't laugh it made your butt bigger didn't it oh my goodness i would have <laughs> 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 and that was the best birthday card ever i just couldn't help it that's i think she i think she kept it but see that's the nature of my sister she's kind of a Yeah, see, Laurie, if you have a litter of puppies, there's no sense in taking them to the vet and paying the expensive price to have the vet give them the shots. You can do it yourself and be sure that they're well cared for. Simple enough. I mean, there's a lot of things you can give your animals if you if you pay attention. Yvette, absolutely, yes. NSAL does adopt pets to people outside New York. We have people coming from both New Jersey and Connecticut. Oh, cool. All right, I'll keep working on him. We'll see what happens. And Tamala Hannah says she that she gave, she's given, she had a cat who lived to be 18 years old with diabetes. Absolutely. That's, that's yeah. good, right? Yeah, I think, Colleen, you have no idea. I might catch you when you least expect it. <laughs> I did my sister. <laughs> oh, Carla Battel Battle says, is it Battle? Yeah, it's Carla Battle. Paper piecing looks so difficult. Why is it, why is a, or what is a good beginner paper piecing project to try? I would love to see the detail but I don't think I could work on it for months and not get bored. Or I do think I could, but I don't think I could work on it for months and not get bored. Okay. She doesn't think she could work on it for months and not get bored, but let me tell you, there's something you should know. Piecing it real. If you are not a part of Yvette's Piecing It Real uh, membership club, you should be. Then you're missing. Yeah, you should be. You're missing out because she has a fabulous series of videos that will help you go from point A to point B. You will absolutely know 
how to paper piece by the time you're done getting through those videos. They are at your own pace. You can start and stop them whenever you like. If you're part of Piecing It Real, they're there for you all the time. So if you need to go back for a refresher, they're available to you. She has beautiful patterns that are simple and easy to use and, and easy to wrap your head around. You will be making far more complicated things much more quickly than you think. She is an excellent teacher. I can absolutely teach you to, to paper piece, I promise. Absolutely. And we have a lot of fun, too. Linda Parsons says, good luck in convincing your husband. <laughs> Memoirs of a long arm quilt through. Is that Stephanie? Yes, that's Stephanie. Hello. She says, hi, Yvette. She says, hey, Yvette, Nita, Stephanie, and everyone. Brenda Foley just came and she says, hi. Hi, hello everyone who's just coming in. Ah, Teresa Louise, hello my dear. How are you feeling today? I hope you're doing well. Hi, Teresa. I'm happy you're here, sweetie. She says, hello everyone. Love Yvette's videos. I have learned so much from following the videos. Absolutely, they're they're like one of the best sets out there. She makes it simple and easy. Yep, and before you know it, you're gonna be paper piecing like you've been doing it a long time, and then you can participate in our block of the month that we have going right now. Um, we have Zoom meetings twice a month so that we can all sew together. You can ask any questions. I'm there for two hours. My link. My link. Uh-oh. <laughs> we might lose this is what happens. We'll get back. <laughs> this is what happens when you uh when you have to share space with a, 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 a you have to share a computer with someone right you lose you lose a few things so you have to kind of play okay here we go piecing it real apparently <laughs> are you still running are you still <laughs> sorry are you still running the um the yeah. um the special sale the yep. special yep sure i am so if you <laughs> want to go and join now um you can go to uh piecing it real dot my kajabi dot com and that's K A A B I, and then if you put in uh, the the coupon code first half off, all written together, first half off, you'll get fifty percent off your first month. Okay, I thought you were. The door was locked. It's unlocked now. Okay, so it's first half off is the code, right? Yep. You okay. Oh, thank you, Sherry. I put I I put it in lowercase letters. Is it supposed to be in uppercase? Um, I it might take it either way. I really don't know, but I know that I put it in uh, uppercase because most people do. Okay, so. so I try it that way first. And I will post that link again so that you guys can pick it up if you want. There you go. Yes, we'd love to have you, and all of the people who are in Piecing a Real are just amaze balls. We, um, we all have a great group of people together. Yep, we also have a friendship swap going on right now, um, which you can uh, join in on, and I can tell you a, a little bit more about that. Or you can uh, talk to Netta; she is our community leader, and. Um, she can give you all the information as well. And Netta says, also Yvette's community manager likes to give away stuff randomly. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. If you guys have been here the whole time, Laurie Periscandolo, she's the one who just won on Monday um, just for showing up. Like I, we just took, we picked a random person and she happened to win. And so I'm sending her box of free stuff. I don't know what I'm sending yet, but I'm going to send a box of free stuff. <laughs> Della Badger says hello. She says she's I'm catching alive. She's happy to catch alive. I'm glad you're catching alive too. Hi, the wave. Hi Della. Is Della? Della. Della D E L L A. Oh, I'm sorry, girly.
<laughs> so what part are we on at the moment? Are we, are you doing like the points? Oh, you're cha you're, you're doing each one, each, each section. You're right. doing all the sections at the same time. Is there eight or is there? Is there a what? I don't know. I was trying to figure out how many sections are in the middle star. Well, there's eight sections of everything, but I have like one done of most of them. So that's why I have seven left of each one. Deolinda says, oh, I missed Monday night. She was very tired Aww. and it had been, and she got into bed early. We missed you. We, we missed you. Miss you. And I, but don't worry because Ned is always giving my stuff away. Don't worry. Be oh, no. <laughs> Mary Kubitschek is in the middle of a tornado warning. Stay safe. She says she's hanging out in the basement oh listening to us. So we'll we'll try to keep you distracted if we can. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All the people who are who like watch whenever they're in the middle of a hurricane, it just cracks me up. I'm just sitting here going, stay safe. <laughs> we we had a tornado we had a tornado warning when i had uh i was it was in the middle of one of my classes and there was probably i don't know 11 maybe 12 students left some of them had gone home because they knew we were going to have a storm and right. all of a sudden everybody's phone goes off everybody's phone goes off and right. it's like take cover now take cover now take cover now okay so the only place that i have that's really central and doesn't traipse them through hallways that are straight windows was in the kiln room. So I have 12 people shoved into this tiny little kiln room with all these ceramic pieces and we're all just trying to distract each other from being stuck in a tiny box. And I thought all I could think of to say was, I hope nobody's claustrophobic. <laughs> that was all I could think of to say. I, I, a very encouraging person, right? Jeez. Well, I mean, what are you going to say? It's like kind of hard to, you know, try to be <laughs> calm and, you know, you're probably freaking out yourself. Nah, I wasn't really freaking out. It's not, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a cinder brick building for the most part. So that one space we were in was probably one of the safest areas to be because there were cinder brick walls all the way around us. Well, that's good. And a steel door. So that was, that was pretty good. But Carla Battle says she just joined. Great. We hope to see you next, not this coming Monday, but the following Monday. We'll have a Zoom meeting. Yes. And you get to show us what you've done. <laughs> I am so happy to have you, Carla. Thank you so much. Oh, Pam. Pam missed on Monday as well. She said she was driving to see her grandson's band concert and she'll catch up with the recording. And that's the other thing too, is in piecing a reel, if you miss a Zoom meeting, Yvette has it recorded so you can go back and check it out. Yeah, it usually takes me a day or two to put it up there, but I do get it up. Angela Stoutinger says she might have to take a walk to the mailbox tomorrow instead of waiting for her son to get it. Evidently, Teresa Lu Louise sent her something. Ooh. <laughs> Sherry says she was sleeping instead of Zooming. <laughs> That's true. She had a very long drive the next day, so. Yes. Nancy Gus has a, said hello to Mary Jane Ellinger, the PIR Queen Bee. Yes, <laughs> she makes us all look bad. <laughs> She's always, always got it done, and we're all, okay. No matter how late <laughs> I send that sucker, she's always got it ready. <laughs> I know, and not just one, but she's got both the big and, you know, it's like, okay, this is the ones I did. We all look like it. <laughs> we're slow. But at least we can yeah. wait for her to do hers so that we have an idea of what we want to do with our own. 
<laughs> that's kind of what I do. I wait to see what everybody's doing. And I think, do I want to do that? I'm really glad I waited on the bird too, because I was going to use dark fabrics for the bird. And when your eye didn't show up. Yeah, my poor bird, you can't see his eye because I used a, um, I have like a dark ish fabric and then his eye, I put it in as, um, you know, I used black for the eye and you can't even see he's got an eye. So I'm like, I'm going to have to like do something. I'll figure something out. Maybe I that'll can. help. That helped me rethink it. So yeah. I, I rethought my my fabric choices on that one. Well, I saw that um, uh, Del Marie like embroidered a heart. Now I don't. I'm not going to do that. Although I should like send it to her and let her embroider it. But <laughs> but I'm gonna do something. Like maybe I can put like a little applique something. Uh, like just to. Make him look like he's got an eyeball. <laughs> Stephanie and Shelly both say they're still picking their fabrics. <laughs> <laughs> I picked my fabrics, but my fabric choices might not be good, so I might have to choose other ones. <laughs> well, you know, you can always change your mind. <laughs> right? It's my piece. I can do what I want. That's right. <laughs> It's your prerogative. It's my paper piece. I, it, it's my paper piecing. <laughs> right. Del Marie says you can do that. I will embroider it for you. I know you would because you're a sweetheart. I knew you would say that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I haven't had a chance to look at that. I, Angela Stoutinger says that Teresa opened the April sew sampler. I usually watch her sew sampler openings and I, it's the, the thing is I, I always get stuck working and then I have to catch up when I have a day off. So I do this, this, okay. Some people binge watch these television shows. I binge watch my, my, my YouTube subscriptions. <laughs> I go through all the ones I missed during the week and try to get them all caught up. Oh, Lara says use a button for the eye. I could. I just, the problem with that is once I put it like into the quilt, the person that I send it to the long arm is going to probably want to kick my butt if I do that. But I could always, oh, yeah, that. I could add it after. I could always, like, you know, I could put it on after it's um, quilted, which is a possibility. I wouldn't mind waiting. <sighs> Sherry, do you have an early morning? Oh, thank goodness. My morning tomorrow is not going to be early. I can kind of wake up slow. Yeah, Sherry's been having a crazy week too. Right? You know, it has to it has to be there's something in the air, I'm telling you. Yeah. Add okay, Stephanie says <laughs> says if it add it after your long armor won't be happy otherwise. And she gave you kind of that little smirky face. <laughs> oh, right? <laughs> oh, Sherry says she has she has early mornings and she's been running on fumes today. Yeah. I understand. She got home very late last night. And then yeah. Ugh, I yeah. don't know. I keep thinking I might actually have to fly to the retreat instead of drive because that driving thing kind of gets to me. I don't know how Sherry does that so much driving. I know. <laughs> Teresa Louise says, always embellish your quilts after it's been quilted. <laughs> See? <laughs> Uh, after she says after after <laughs> yep listen i i know not to disappoint or make my long armor mad i know this <laughs> 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 mm. 
Deanna Cunningham says all her mornings are early. Her cats wake her up at 4 a.m. to go outside for a bit. Oh, good goo. I'm telling you, I'd get me a little cat door. Mm-hmm. Yep. There'd have to be a cat door in mine because I'm not going to get up at 4. Well, no, you know, maybe I won't because my husband gets up at 3. He can let him out then. <laughs> Everybody knows that if you want to get up, you go and you get daddy to get up and get you some. Because mama don't wake up. I don't wake up. <laughs> I don't even wake up when the alarm goes off early. So they know who to go get. <laughs> See, Tamala Hannah says the same thing I said, Yvette. She says, there is something in the air. Friday is the 13th month. 13th monday is a full moon it makes people crazy so friday is the friday the 13th monday is the full moon i'm telling you it has some i just don't understand it it's just really going around i think y'all are right it's and something because designs by christina cunningham excuse me um, Christina says, do you, do you glue every seam or just the first one glue seam? Which seam are we talking about? I personally do not glue anything. I just hold the fabric there. That's all I do. But if you, uh, need to use a little bit of fabric glue, you really don't need a lot. Just put a little dab. Um, you know, cause you, it, you, it has to stay for like a second you know it's not like it's gotta last for eternity or anything so just don't use a lot that's my recommendation but i personally have never used glue Except okay so i think that back because if i have now with the judy niemeyers sometimes you'll have these like really big pieces, right? Like this, working with this, this is small. She's got some pieces that are like really big. Now in that case, because you're trying to keep things like in a certain place and, and it's huge, then there may be a couple of spots where I'll put a little bit of fabric glue um, because it's just very difficult to handle because it's a huge piece. But other than that, I do not use glue. I think what happened was it's not a glue pin that you're using. It's your acorn oh, pin. It's a starch pin, you guys are right? About this. Yeah. Okay. So this is different. This is like a starch. Um, well, it's a starch alternative. And it basically just gives you flat seams. And it's this pin and whatever's in it i call it magic juice so does stephanie we just call it magic juice because we don't know what it is but it's a maze balls and it keeps your seams super flat like for a long time i've like you know sometimes like you'll iron or you'll press a seam and then like let's say you have to put it down for like a week and you come back and your seams now look kind of for lack of a better term like puffy right so then you have to like repress it so that it'll lay flat and then you could put your your blocks together or whatever i have not had that happen with this stuff i put this on every seam and will continue to do so because it is like the best <laughs> so that's what this is it's not glue this is a starch sort of it's not not really but it's so, called the acorn precision piecing easy press pin okay mj said that if she had a cat door she'd wake up to have raccoons and possums sitting on the couch watching tv and drinking beer that could be it's like fun. that one <laughs> so it reminds me of the one video where the guy was like kit kat you just sitting there <laughs> do something he says do something anything throw up gang signs blow right whistle just something because <laughs> there's three <laughs> raccoons in the garage and the cat's just sitting there looking at him like what they're my friends <laughs> <laughs> they're my friends and, okay Delinda says there's an eclipse along uh, eclipse two along the moon 
Oh and it, it, it's supposed to be like a really crazy month. She says, look it up. I wouldn't be at all surprised. I mean, oh, there's I, definitely I, something I, that's I, playing with these people. I'm telling you. Nope, I'm telling you. I, you do not have to try to convince me because there's been some crazy stuff going on. <laughs> people are done about to lost their mind. <laughs> right? Yes. I mean, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and see, I thought I thought everybody was driving crazy up there, and then I got home and I saw some people do some pretty weird stuff. I thought, what in the world has happened to these people? Yeah, something's up. <laughs> Some is up. Ooh, Heather Grin says Mercury retrograde. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Hello, Heather. Yes, I, I believe I, I, I think this is the first time I've seen you in the chat so far. <laughs> Shelly S. says she loves her magic juice. Thanks, Stephanie, for getting everyone addicted. Right. I know. Steph, Steph, Stephanie's like the, she's like the, the, the drug dealer of quilters. She's like, I got the goods. <laughs> There's some more came in today. <laughs> Come on over. I'll give you a good deal. <laughs> come on over. Come on over. And we're all going, Stephanie, I need more. More. <laughs> Do you have some more? <laughs> I need more juice. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Angela Stoughton just says she's been using it more and more and more. She absolutely loves it. Yep, I don't know how we ever lived that. <laughs> ah, Heather is right. She says, that's anyone with a fabric shop. <laughs> too true, too true. They start showing you all the pretty fabrics, and before you know it, you're like drooling, and you, it's like, oh, where's my fix? I need my fabric fix. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Stephanie. She might fall out of her chair and making her laugh. <laughs> hmm. It's true, though, man. Everybody's going to Stephanie. Stephanie, you got any more juice? <laughs> it's like, whoa, back up. Well, the good thing, though, is that at least you don't need a whole lot. You know, like it lasts, uh, it goes a long way. Just... <laughs> Netta, Netta says, totally agrees with me. She said she about had a heart attack when she was about to run out. See? <laughs> See, Stephanie? See what you started? You got us all addicted to the juice. Addicted to the juice. <laughs> <laughs> the acorn juice. <laughs> right? Nancy Nancy Gus says she was a nurse for 33 years and the full moon does bring the crazy out. I know. I believe it. I absolutely believe that it does because, goodness gracious, these people... Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Oh my goodness, Heather, you should, uh, here's the thing. You need to, to put your tongue, the tip of your tongue, at the roof of your mouth, just behind your front <laughs> teeth, and say, mm, and then, with your lips, make a little circle, and blow out a little air, and say, oh. Now put those two together, and it says, mm, oh. Mm, what are you oh. doing? No. No. <laughs> you need to say no. She says, I don't get to have any more fabric fixes for a while. Says my bank and credit card after my last so yeah purchase. I told her how to say no. Somebody has to teach the poor girl how to say no. Girl, just don't <laughs> no. even go over there. <laughs> <laughs> just don't go. <laughs> oh my goodness MJ said she was putting out cat food for a while because she'd seen a little cat around and it would come by but one night my own cat ran over to the window and I looked out to see a giant possum well you know possums gotta eat too okay what did Polly say we have to figure out what Polly said real quick 
I need a second pin so I can have one on both sewing stations. Absolutely. And, and Colleen says, she says, that's what the dealers want you to think. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they want you to think. You know, Nancy, I fully believe that. Netta says it would get to the point I would request the full moon off until the scheduler caught on to everyone and it, and it was forbidden to request those days off. I believe that the full moon definitely brings out the crazy in people, man. That's when you come in, some guy from the bar is a full eight ball in his mouth because he thought, you know, let me just do this. And then it's locked in there and he can't get it out. Holly Lawrence, she says she's going to an estate sale on Friday that has about 30 bolts for sale. Mm. Wow. Oh, oh, no judgment, Heather. No judgment. Just helping you say no. <laughs> Definitely no judgment. That's for sure. <laughs> I'm back to Nita disturbing. No one could tell you were going for the word no, right? Nobody catches on until you actually say no. <laughs> You're like making some kind of crazy face over there. I didn't know what was up. Mm, oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't do that. Hello, Elena. Elena is here quilting in Romania. She says hello. Hi, Elena. <laughs> YouTube is going to flag this video. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Hello, Eric. As Eric, it go viral. I don't care. You make all Eric. Does everybody know who Eric Oda is? Does anyone know? He's Treasured Heart Treasure Heart Create Treasured Heart Creations. I did not know that. Hi Eric. Yes. Yeah. Eric Oda is Treasured Heart Creations. He does these wonderful gift baskets. You should see them. They're really pretty. And quite clever, actually. Ooh, Heather, I know. They're gorgeous, right? And Rhonda Mc... Mc... Manigle? Oh, I probably mangled that. Says, hello from stormy Minnesota. Hello. Welcome. Oh my goodness. She says she needs to watch the whole show. She missed the start. I was taking a class at a local quilt shop and had one class and then closed the shop. Haven't sewn on it in a few years. I hope we're talking about the The quilt pattern. Laura Veach says, Eric's channel is fun. I agree. It's absolutely hilarious. My favorite was when his neighbors had a party. That's still one of my favorite videos. His neighbors were having a party. Boy, they were having a party. I'm telling you. I kept thinking, Eric, put the sewing down and go see if you can join in the fun. <laughs> They were having a good time. <laughs> Brenda Foley said, what did The Brenda crazy has arrived. Right? Heather, that you are absolutely right. So, yeah, we'll give you some very, very interesting ideas. Janet Johnson says, okay, guys, bye. I have a good day tomorrow. I'm off to 
my she cave. <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> Janet. Bye, Janet. Thanks for coming, honey bun. Eric says, yeah, that was a party. Yeah, it was. You could hear it all the way over to you. <laughs> and Eric, what fire are we talking about? Hey, JB. Brenda Foley says, hi, Super Steph. Love your patriotic quilt. So cute. Oh my goodness, I got so excited I left my crochet, Stephanie. I just put it in the mail today. Sorry it took so long. Eric, I don't wish that on, uh, you know, even if the neighbors were not the best people in the world, I wouldn't wish anybody to lose their home to a fire because you lose so much. And it doesn't really matter how it happens, but it's terrible. Yes, it is. My condolences to them. I will definitely be sending prayers their way. I don't even know them, but I know it's a horrible, horrible experience. <laughs> so Carla Battle says, I have never been to a quilt retreat. What do people get out of them? And what are some of the things to expect when you go? Very good questions. You can expect to get friendships. You can expect to get extra knowledge that you don't already have. You can expect to share your knowledge with other people. You can expect, um, did I say lifelong friendships already? I mean. <laughs> you said friendships, but you didn't say lifelong. Well, it's. I've never actually been to a quilt long. retreat, so. It's, it's just amazing. Um, and you know, I mean, a big part of it is, yes, you need to be open to that, you know, um, and if you are, then you're going to get a lot out of it. It's, it's the best. I mean, the retreat that we just had in Ohio, gosh, it seems like it's been, you know, 400 years ago because you just don't want to leave. Um. But I mean, we've already booked next year's and it, you know, we allowed the people who were already there to book first and we had all but, I want to say three people who couldn't do it. And it was only because they had a, like a family obligation already, like a graduation or something like that. So, um, it's, it's just amazing. It's or it can be. Let's put it that way. Um, they're all different. <laughs> okay, so Eric did ask who was talking. Eric, it's Nita Henderson. You, If you come in at the very beginning, you get to see my, my horrible puss, but you don't need that. <laughs> and Stephanie said it very well. She says, quilt retreat equals fun, friends, food, wine, and lots of laughing and sewing. Yes. Oh. Gidget is leaving. Good night. Good night, Gidget. <laughs> Hi, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Before he says, oh, go, oh hi. Go. Yeah, you, you might actually catch me over on Tiffany's channel. Most of the time I'm lurking when she's sewing, but I try to keep up with her as much as possible. And I agree with Angela, Eric. It's absolutely uh, scary. You, the I don't, I don't use those in my house for that very reason. 
the aroma candles and you know the glade plug-in things i've heard those have started fires i just i don't use them Okay. So they're talking about retreats. I'm kind of excited for the New Year's retreat. I may have to bring my epi just so I can have a glass of champagne. <laughs> well, don't feel like you have to. I mean, we're it's still not it's not on. okay. It, it's not like I feel like I have to. It's that Unfortunately, I am one of those people who doesn't drink because of, of medical reasons, okay? Alcohol tends to set off an allergic reaction, and I don't like the allergic reaction, but I love the taste of alcohol. I like, I love wine. I love spirits. I especially like tequila and B&B &B and sherry and cognac and bourbon and, you know, I'm... Uh, what can I say? I like the flavors. I like the way they taste. Gotcha. Sherry says she's going to go for now. Hi, Sherry. She says she's going to go get some sleep. She should. Good night, friend. You should <laughs> definitely. She needs some rest. Good night, Sherry. Night, sweetie pie. Talk to you tomorrow. Laura, you and I both are super excited about that retreat. I cannot, I, I mean, I can hardly wait. I want it to come really fast, but that means that Christmas will come quickly, and I'm not quite prepared for that, but I'm super excited about it. I really, really am excited about it. Good people. There's going to be lots of good people and lots of fun. Yep. <laughs> Eric, <laughs> you have no idea. Alcohol and I are very close friends sometimes. Southern Comfort, Slow Gin, both of them like them. Just about any brandy, doesn't matter. I like brandy. I like schnapps too, but mostly cinnamon schnapps because if you add a little tabasco to a shot it tastes like a red hot candy and cinnamon candy is one of my favorites amen <laughs> sisters people be crazy right <laughs> Shelly clark no it does not it's the alcohol for whatever the for, for whatever reason the alcohol over the years has just progressed until it's uh, an allergic reaction and it has a lot to do with the fact that i'm kind of a mutant it, it happens but yeah <laughs> i can drink the non-alcoholic wine it just doesn't taste the same and they don't make a very good non-alcoholic moscato anyway <laughs> <laughs> yes, Stephanie. Yes, she says peppermint peppermint schnapps and a squirt of Hershey's chocolate tastes like a peppermint patty. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Then they have the shots called Jolly Ranchers, which are really nice, too. But you have to be careful. Those will kick you. <laughs> See, we're talking Eric's language here. <laughs> He's like, yep. Have you had a Washington apple, Stephanie?
Oh my goodness, are you serious? Elena says she thinks she's one of the very few sailors in the Navy who doesn't drink. I'm sure there are plenty who don't. I know two young ladies who are in the Navy, and neither of them drink. In fact, one of them says, that stuff doesn't just taste bad, it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think it smells good, but, you know. Washington apples are made with Crown Royal. <laughs> Linda Parsons says, I don't drink and I'm not in the Navy. I don't drink anymore. I never drank. I, I, I mean, I was never an alcoholic or anything. I did a lot of drinking when I was a young person. You like them, Stephanie. The Washington apples are, a Washington apple is really tasty. It's very good. Very, very good. Uh-huh. Heather says, once again, we've devolved into the discussion of alcohol. We could go on to food. <laughs> Don't talk about food. I'm hungry. And there's no more lasagna left. No, I have, uh, my rice aroni. Do you know, Laura, back when my grandfather was coming up in the in the army, alcohol was something that everybody drank. It was a social thing in the in the their day and age. In fact, oftentimes businessmen that was part of their pay was a a, a weekly or monthly allotment of alcoholic beverages. So as a kid, I grew up with people drinking around me all the time. I mean, not that they drank to an excess. They were never binge drinkers. But there was also always social drinking. People would come to, the, to my grandparents' house, and there would always be drinks served. So it's, it's not like it was uncommon because it was very common. Yes. Yes. Linda Parsons, yes. And they have Fireball here, too. They call it, they have some that's called Fireball here. And Laurie Lasalle wants to know, Yvette, is it going to be a ramen night? No, I'm going to have... Um, I have some... Um, rice aroni with shredded cheese in it. It's actually pretty warm. I don't think I would eat a ramen tonight. <laughs> Elena, that's a good reason not to. She says she, uh, I think it's because I'm a control freak and I wouldn't have control if I drank. I saw many bad choices made by alcohol, so I'd rather not risk it. Also knocks me out into sweet, sweet slumber for three days. Wow. Well, I don't Ooh. think you have control if you don't drink too much. I mean, you got to know what, you know, when to stop, for goodness sakes, that's for sure. <laughs> Eric, o Eric Oda says, okay, so Nancy says she's making sauerkraut and sausage for supper. Eric Oda says, that actually sounds good right now. Uh, now I'm hungry. Mary Kubicek says, Texas chocolate sheet cake and lemon bars for cookout tomorrow night. I'm so jellyfish right now. <laughs> Del Marie, you're right. Budweiser used to let their workers drink on the job and take as much beer home as they wanted. You are absolutely right. It used to be part of, it was considered a perk, a pay pack, part of the pay package. Ooh, Laurie says she's making a peach cobbler. Oh, wouldn't that be tasty right now? Definitely, Stephanie, interesting work situation. I don't know, Mary, but I think they should try some. You should make some. You can send it my way. I'll eat it. Ooh, Teresa's making meatballs. I made chicken Alfredo. Broccoli and chicken Alfredo tonight. That's what I made. I could really just sit down and chow on some meatballs right now. Maybe I'll make some meatballs so, tomorrow. 
meatballs. Eric says they're college boys. They'll eat anything. Absolutely. They will. <laughs> they'll eat just about anything. And Shelly Clark says when she drinks, even just a little bit, her nose and cheeks turn pink. Family says she looks like Mrs. Santa. I used to be able to drink a lot, but now it, what it does is cause my heart to race. I get high, so my throat closes up. I can't, I can't drink. <laughs> it's okay, not pretty. You think you having champagne on New Year's Eve? I'm just saying. We want to have to get the non-alcoholic kind. Emergency room. <laughs> <laughs> I, I look. I said I'd bring my epi. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to be stabbing you with a pin. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I'll probably stay away from the alcohol. Although you know, I mean, I, I, I'm sure it would be like great fun for everybody to talk about it later. <laughs> Ooh, Tamala Hannah. I want some of that. She just finished roasted Brussels sprouts. And mm, that sounds really good. Ooh, Del Marie says they're having fish and chips. Ooh, that sounds good. I like fish and chips. Mostly the fish, but I like fish and chips. <laughs> I just got I just got told by Stephanie that no, we don't want to go to the ER on our retreats. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm heard one. <laughs> Ixnay on the pin nay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think oh, I'm Polly says she's a mean drunk. No one would want to be around her. <laughs> All right. I'm going to switch um, us back here. Carla says she has to has to has to leave now. She enjoyed speaking with us and having a good time. She says, have a nice night. And she's looking forward to trying the paper piecing. Absolutely. I'm telling you. Jump in. Start with the first the first video and just go step by step. Before you know it, you'll be a pro. Absolutely. Okay. Teresa Louise says that when she grew up, her father-in-law said he grew up, oh, she says her father-in-law grew up with a pitcher of beer on the table. <laughs> he would get watered down beer as a kid. Hey, my grandmother used to give us hot toddies when we got sick, and they had, they had bourbon in them. Absolutely. My grandmother used to do it all the time. If my sister or I got sick, she'd give us a hot toddy. We would get like Definitely. whiskey on the gums. So we would put on like when babies were crying or teething. When they were teething, not, I mean, we wouldn't like chug them. We would just, you know, a little bit. Hey, that, that, look, my grandfather used to stick his thumb in his bourbon and I'd chew on it. <laughs> and then when he'd, when he'd go away, he, he'd, he'd get up and go somewhere and I'd sneak over to his glass and there'd be the little ice cubes in it. He'd think it'd be empty, but there was always that little taste. Yep, on the ice cube. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Eric Gota says hot toddies work like nothing else, like no other. And you are absolutely right. Man, you drank one of those hot toddies, you went to bed, you were great the next day. <laughs> Angela Stoutinger says she would get watered down wine. She's Italian. You know, in England, they don't have the same sort of stipulations on drinking as we do here. So my granddaughter was drinking... My oldest granddaughter was drinking wine and stuff with her meal long before our kids would be. They don't have the binge drinking problems that we have here. Mm. We have a lot of binge drinking with our young kids. It might be because we tell them they can't have it or I don't know. Maybe. Like you say something, you like forbid something and then all of a sudden like the forbidden fruit thing. Right. It's called reverse psychology. Tell your child, go touch that. Go put your hand on that. And they'll be like, no, <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> Absolutely. It's the way to do it. Yep. Uh, right. MJ says they'd give her she, that it, when she had tummy troubles, her grandma would give her Morgan David Blackberry wine. I don't even know what Whenever, that is. But it's when, 
whenever I had like tummy troubles, if I had like gas or if my stomach was hurting or something, my grandmother would give me just a little bit of peppermint schnapps and some water. But get rid of it every time. Hmm. I think it was probably the peppermint, not the alcohol, but you know. <laughs> In Romania, communion is with real wine, even for kids. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I think it's, uh, I isn't there, isn't it real wine here too? Maybe not. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, actually, mm -mm, they're not allowed to use real wine here. Oh, uh, that sucks. It's not like you get a whole bunch. You just barely touch your, you know, your mouth with it or whatever. But whatever. I, I mean, it really doesn't matter. Oh, look. <laughs> say a bless you. Thank you. Colleen says, she says, I just told my kids to, st to keep tormenting me. It did not work as intended. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Polly. Oh my goodness, warm <laughs> fresh bread with sugar on top. It's okay. You know what? Y'all stop talking about the food. I'm like so hungry right now. <laughs> Just oh, stop. see that sounds that sounds stop. really good. I would eat that. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's so much there's so much going on. Yeah, see, Mary is saying that the Catholic Church has real wine. I don't know if I don't know if they do or not. Do they really? Because I thought so, but then I... Lutherans. No, the Catholic Church. That's what Mary said. Yeah, the Catholic Church, but not for children. They're not allowed to give it to children. How are you gonna How are you gonna stop them? Once they're, you know, they make their first communion, they can get it. Yeah, but that's not. You're not. They're not considered children at that point. They're not considered small children at that point. In the America, they are. <laughs> not for saying. religious purposes. It's not like it's not, legal I mean, for them to be drinking at that point. It, which is ridiculous. I mean, it's a little sniff of wine. Why does it matter? I don't think it matters, but you know. Half the reason we started drinking wine is because it wasn't safe to drink water all the time. So we often had wine or mead or beer in order to have safe things to drink because those things didn't have bacteria in them that would make you sick. Right. Gotcha. Ooh, okay. Chocolate covered donuts for a snack. I'm trying I'm not to read to... that. Can we not read that? I just, <laughs> just... <laughs> for goodness. Sorry. <laughs> I got, I got, I skipped I got... right over that like a good girl. <laughs> I got one. I got one black and white cookie. One. <laughs> oh my goodness. See, you, should ate, you should have eaten them when you were like waiting for the plane or something. <laughs> I thought and about it. You know, I really did a lot. <laughs> Leave them each one and you eat the rest. <laughs> I didn't even get to eat my brownie. I was just about to ask you if you got your brownie. See, that nope. ain't right. That ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> you can't bring you can't bring that stuff into my house. I have I have two two boys and a husband. Um, trust me, my husband can eat more chocolate than a PMSing teenage girl. He can put it away. Yeah. Hands down, the man can eat a lot of chocolate. Mm -hmm. And Colleen is, uh, well, we're going to take our cue from Colleen. She <laughs> yes. says, thank you, Yvette and Nita, for the live and everyone for the company. Have a good night. <laughs> I have to beat <laughs> my kids. <laughs> my kid, he's still tormenting me. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to keep doing that for the rest of your life, my dear. Trust yeah. me. Stop. Doesn't ever end. <laughs> all right. Look, Heather popped up all that food, so you're ready to go eat now? It's like one minute to 10. I'm just going to go. So I will see y'all <laughs> right. next week. <laughs> <laughs> y'all can torment me with food again. <laughs> <laughs> and um i had a great time sewing on my judy niemeyer i hope you guys had a fun time watching and um <laughs> mj says 
says, let's help a vet out talk about liver, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, <laughs> there and you even go. spinach. Thank you, MJ. That that's wonderful. See somebody. <laughs> 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 and Mary that says, thumbs up. Thumbs up, guys. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, everyone. <laughs> I know yeah, you. Yeah, don't forget the thumbs up. <laughs> Oh my goodness, y'all are so funny. Linda Parsons says she 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 will be sure to torment you. Yeah, I'm sure next. she will. She better stop <laughs> talking about them donuts unless she's gonna bring one over. Anyway, right? <laughs> <laughs> not fair not to share. No, I know, right? Okay, right. guys. Next week, I'll see y'all same time, eight thirty Wednesday on Hump Day. And yeah, see y'all then. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Okay, I gotta figure out how to turn. I always forget how to turn this off. There it is.